Hi everyone, I'm Pauline from Gitpod, and in today's video, I'll walk you through organizations. An organization can be used to represent a group of people collaborating together with Gitpod, such as an entire company or an open source collective. Through Gitpod organizations, you can manage members, manage projects, and that includes pre-build configurations, apply organization policies, and more. Let's go through all these options. First, let's head over to members. Under members, you can invite new members by sharing a URL with them. You can also change the role of each member, either to be a member or an owner. In usage, you can see your organization's usage that's updated every 15 minutes. You can see the credits per workspace and total credits consumed. Now, if you head over to billing, you can see your remaining balance for your organization and set a monthly limit. Under general, you can edit your organization details. Workspace sharing is enabled by default and through this policy, Organization owners can prevent members from sharing workspaces within an organization. You can view your workspaces and see the projects within the organization. You can create a new project from this view and this will be shared with everyone else in your organization. So if we just click on this voting app project, you can see the different branches that are in this project. Also, all the pre-builds, which you can configure in the settings page. This standardizes it for the rest of the people in your organization. You can also add environment variables. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any more questions, head over to our community Discord server over at gitpod.io chat. We'll see you there.